Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. All right, so now another topic which I have got from one of the um, subscriber or one of the person who uh, I'm really thankful to to bring this topic to me. He has requested to show how we can configure Kaspersky Security Center to send even logs to any SIEM solution. So if you got to know about SIEM solution, uh, it's good. If you don't know, um, SIEM solution does security incident event management manager tools, which can correlate the events from different solutions deployed in an organization and help you to achieve uh, some security insight and give you very useful reports and so on and of course then you can take certain actions on that um, if you want to know how to do it first of all you should know that you can find the documentation about this on support.kaspersky.com and if you see all the details are available over here uh, before you begin, of course, you need to know that it's not only one way side, you have to do certain configuration on seam side also. So before you begin, you need to read this where you need to get these details and you need to configure event export to sim also. All these things you need to do. And from Kaspersky perspective, what you need to do, that's another important thing. So for that, basically what you are required to do is it, if you are running a web console, you can go into configuration, um, oh, sorry, on the web console, you can go to console settings and you have integration option over here. Inside that you have seam. And when you click on seam, you can just enable automatically export events to seam solution enabled. And then of course you have to do the settings of this thing. To do that, of course, you need to define the target server, the port and the protocol along with which format. Do you want to send it to syslog format? If you have Splunk, for the um, subscriber who asked me for, he asked for Splunk, but you can see we can send it into Splunk, we can send it to ArcSight and IBM QRadar, and if you don't have any one of them, you can send it as a syslog also to those target devices. Once you will configure this, for example, because of course I do not have SIEM solution in my environment, I'm going to just simply put this like this, and I will say 514 over here, which is a syslog uh, so, uh, format of the logs, and I'll click on OK and save this option. Once I'll save this option, of course my integration is done, but we are not done yet, because now we have to configure it over uh, events and alerts to go to um, the same solution. For that, you will go over here in your event selections and you can see there are different events which are already there. And uh, so basically you can look at them. You can go to notifications about certain things where you can see certain notifications and so on. But majorly what you need to do is you need to go to your settings over here and in settings you have event configuration and you can see there are different events available over here you can select whatever you want and you can mark them to export to same solution by using syslog or whatever you have and then you can save it so what will happen these all events will be configured to be sent to your same solution of course, in my case, I don't have same solution, so I don't want this to happen. So I can just click on all of them and I can say unmark for export to seam system by using syslog. And that's it. This is something which I can just simply do. Now, if you are not running a web console, how to do that? So for that, you need to go to your web um, MMC console under administration server. You have this uh, portal where you have statistics reports and events you need to click on events over here and configure notification and event export and then click on configure export to same solution and over here 
because you know we have already configured uh, you can see I have this option available otherwise you just need to enable this option and configure the same settings and that's it once you have all these settings done you are good and you will be able to send the events to um, the target devices uh, target uh, basically server and of course even over here once you are done uh, you need to select which events you want to send it to um, the target which is uh, which is your Splunk or uh, Arcsight and so on so once this is done uh, you are good and uh, you will be able to send your events to syslog server Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.